So, what is risk transfer? So, I'm just going to quickly summarize it here, really easy for you and explain to you. So, risk transfer is a process of selling, of cutting loose that stock that you hold that's losing for a similar risk, okay, but with a higher potential upside. One example, Intel, okay? If you know Intel, Intel used to be one of the biggest semiconductor company. They have got their chip in every computer, every laptop. Intel has dropped drastically, dropped dramatically. And you know, I know people are still holding Intel, but what I tell them, business is not going well, despite they're going up uh, this week, but you know, they're not compacted rivals. So what, I told, what I've been telling people at that time, Intel, cut it off, move somewhere else. Move to the likes of Micron, move to the likes of Nvidia, move to the likes of Skyworks. You can see the trend. When I'm saying this is money that's coming within one area, semiconductor Intel is leaving Intel, it must be going somewhere. This is zero sum error somewhere. This is zero sum. So money goes somewhere. So that's why I said leave Intel, go to Micron, Skyworks, Nvidia, or A and B. You could make your money back potentially. Because that's where the money is flowing. So you have to follow the flow of money. Okay. And the other example is the other example I can give is like Shell or BP. Like back in uh, back in November, October, folks were telling me. They've been making losses, about 40% shell, 40% loss at BP. They've got pension funds only. What do I do? So think about it. So what I would advise on that situation is cut your losses on BP and shell because will oil come back? Is oil dead? Do you believe oil is dead? Do you, is it going to come in the next six months? But then look elsewhere. I would say go to hydrogen stocks. How about hydrogen? Green energy. That's what's happened between November till now. Green energy has gone up. It's gone up two times, three times, four times because of Biden coming in. So if someone would take the risk of your BP's losses and move it across to a different, a different stock of the same class, but higher risk upside, it makes it so much easier. Okay. So how do I do it? Let me let me let me just explain that that simple three steps. Okay, that I use myself to to make a decision on this. That that works. I would say it's worked about seven out of ten of my seven out of ten times. Okay. So I would say. Find something that the losses that you make, it could be 30%, 40%, or even 5 or 10%. Find something that's on the upside on a similar scale. Don't be too greedy. Okay, don't jump to a SPAC stock. Jump, don't jump from like the likes of Facebook to a SPAC stock. Don't be too greedy. If, if you're losing a Facebook, maybe perhaps find Google or maybe perhaps find Apple. Something similar in similar risk level. Okay. And the second part is um, find somewhere most probably preferably in the same category. If it's a mega cap stock, Find another mega cap stock. If it's a car stock that you have that you're losing on BMW, go to Tesla. You know, if it's Toyota that you're losing, you know, go to Neo Tesla from a car industry to another car industry. Okay. And the third one is the third one which I find it the most critical. Yeah. When you sell it, don't keep as cash. You have to buy it straight away. You have to risk transfer straight away. Why? It's just human, eh? human. If you keep the money for so long, if you let's say you, you bought a stock for ten thousand pounds, you lost half of it, five thousand pounds back in your pocket, you get greedy. The longer you hold that money, you get greedy. You find something that's high risk that you shouldn't be going into. So it's best before you sell the stock, look elsewhere where you can find a stock of similar ground, similar industry, similar risk potential upside and then boom sell same day and buy same day or within plus or minus two days i think the last part is the most important so just let me repeat is the losses percentage and find a potential upside that's the first one and the second one is if you move from one industry make sure you go to the similar industry and the third one it would be uh if you transfer do it straight away don't wait for more than three days sell it off and buy on the same day or the second day or third day so you don't get into formal effect or get demoralized. So this is this is really the quick principle recap of the risk transfer where you have a cancerous stock that you can hold no more, that you don't believe the business has changed. You don't want to, to, to stave the losses for so long. Okay, you don't want to stave the losses for the next two years, three years, four years, five years, you get demoralized and you stop investing. Just straight away transfer it out to somewhere else and let you buy back the time that you buy back the gains. That's that's where I'm coming from. So I hope I hope that, that gets it. Before I go, before I say goodbye, please do like and subscribe on my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook. And if you want, support me on Patreon as well. So I can produce content like this every single day for you guys to give you guys value. So please do share, please do share this video to help us grow our YouTube channel, yeah? Yeah. All right guys, three, two, one, bye-bye.